In just three years, Gazoo Racing has become a force to reckon with when it comes to performance cars. And now, Toyota's high performance division is ready to launch its fourth car, the GR Corolla. Let's check it out. So let's just refresh your memories. In 2019, Gazoo Racing launched the Supra, then it followed in 2020 by the GR Yaris, and then just last year, we had the GR86. Now this car, the GR Corolla, has a lot in common with the GR Yaris, including what's under that bonnet. Like the GR Yaris, the new Corolla has a 1.6 litre, three cylinder, turbo but unlike the Yaris it produces 221 kilowatts and 317 newton meters of torque. Now that's around 20 kilowatts more than the Yaris and Toyota engineers say the extra power comes from well just a few tweaks under the bonnet. The same turbochargers there, the same hardware's there, a bit of extra cooling and they turned up the wick. Like the Yaris GR this car also comes with um, Toyota GR's GT4 all-wheel drive. Now the base cars it comes with in fact, it's quite funny. The all-wheel drive system started life in the RAV4 and since then it's been highly modified. The base version has open differentials, but this one has a front and rear torsion differential. Now, in standard setting, it runs around 60-40 torque split, but then if you flick to sport, it goes 30% torque to the front and 70% to the rear. There's also a track mode that splits it to 50-50 for, well, finely balanced handling. Now, I just think this car looks absolutely awesome they've done so much to this car there are so many detail changes that in fact um, i think only the bonnet and the rear tailgate carries over from the standard car except it doesn't with this car because this is the Maurizio edition but we'll tell you about that in a second so yeah literally the amount of work the amount of money gazoo racing has spent in this car just beggars belief absolutely beggars belief so the key takeaways from this is it is so much wider than a standard Corolla. It has these special front fenders and the rear, and that's because they wanted to widen the track to increase mid-cornering grip. Now, brakes. This version here has four piston front calipers, and then at the rear, two piston calipers, and they are pretty mighty. Now, I remember from the GR Yaris before that they decided they were considering a ceramic brake package, but they were so impressed by the stopping power and the fact that these do not fade on track that they just thought they'd just stick with the steel stoppers. Other things to mention, in fact, we just go back to the front of the car again, is there's been so many aero tweaks to this car and most of it is downforce, but a lot of it is cooling because one of the problems with increasing the power is just the amount of extra cooling they needed. And there's an intercooler, which is huge, absolutely huge in there. It just looks in there and it's got quite cool GR4 graphics on it as well. And it's details like that that mean you can really geek out about this. And nothing's fake. I mean, check out this. There's actually holes there. Check out this. Real holes. It all works. Now, while we're at the back of the car, <laughs> look at this. Three exhausts, an all new exhaust system developed for this car. And the clever thing about it is it's actually quite quiet when you want it to be quiet, like on the highway. It's got a flap under there that opens up this big thing here. This is the big resonator. This is the thing that makes the noise. Um, but when you don't want it to make a noise, yeah, it's quite refined. This car comes with, praise be, a six speed manual gearbox, but there will be an automatic in the future and that's gonna be a torque converter. But at the moment, yes, we have the third pedal and it's a pretty decent gearbox. But I've got to tell you about this car here because this one's the batshit crazy one. This is the Maurizio edition. So this doesn't have, it does not have a rear bench seat. It does not have a wiper. And plenty of details changes, including, look at this, forged carbon roof. Get a load of that, lads. Because of that, they save around 30 kilos of weight, which means, drum roll, this weighs. 1,470 kilos, which is quite a lot really, because that's around 200 kilos heavier, well, than the GR Yaris. But anyway, why am I talking to you? We should be out on the road driving it. Better still, 
we're on a track. So what can we say about the GR Corolla's handling? Well, I can tell you what, it's pretty damn impressive. This is probably going to be a rival for something like a Hyundai i30N or perhaps a more expensive Golf R. We still don't know pricing. And you really do appreciate the all-wheel drive around here. As I said, and my god, traction is never ever an issue. And the good thing is, it actually likes to play as well. On the road it can feel a bit, well, a bit grown up. But throw it around a track like this, and there really is adjustability. You can even trail brake and get some quite ludicrous angles. But most of the time, the thing that impresses you about this car is just how quickly it goes around a circuit like this. And it just flatters drivers of all abilities. So Toyota hasn't actually released performance figures yet for the GR Corolla, but they say it should hit 100 kilometers per hour in less than five seconds and top out at around 250 kilometers per hour. Key to the GR's phenomenal on-track abilities is its GT4 all-wheel drive. Now, the base car has two open differentials but we're driving a car with a circuit pack and that adds two Torsen limited slip differentials, front and rear. And it's the reason why you can just fire out of corners like this with just zero wheel slip. Again, the GR Corolla carries over the smaller cars, four piston front discs and two piston rear calipers. And braking is pretty special. I mean, zero fade and we're literally non-stop hot lapping around this circuit and it just soaks it all up. Now as far as suspension goes, again, it carries over much of the hardware from the smaller GR Yaris. So up front there's struts and at the rear there's a multi-link setup. So on road, the GR Corolla, well, it's super quick, but it doesn't feel that involving compared to something like a Hyundai i30N. But you know what, it's on track, it really comes alive. It really does, especially when it's a little bit slippery because is just your friend everywhere and the amount of speed you can hustle through some of these corners and just yeah just drive it well beyond the limit it's just brilliant so the toyota gr corolla is set to arrive in australia in q1 of 2023 and when it does it will be priced from we don't know we don't know what it will be cost because at the moment Toyota Australia say it's just simply too early. But we think a safe bet is a car like this will weigh in at around $70,000, which makes it pretty comparable for cars like the Volkswagen Golf R. Would you have one over a Golf R? I think just for the looks alone, just for the looks alone. This thing's awesome.